Hi everybody, this is Debbie. Uh, today I am showing you a design that I've been working on. Um, it's given me a hard time and I'm still not quite sure what I think about it, although I do think it's interesting. Um, I was thinking of calling it cantankerous or pugnacious, <laughs> just to get back at it. But when my um, Olivia looked at it, and I guess she, she saw like these little segments right here, then here. This one looks a little different because of my the bands I chose, or the way I placed the bands. Um, but she thought they look, it looked like coral. So I started looking around um, with coral and the different types of it. And I found one that I could not figure out how to pronounce for the life of me. Um, phonics was always troublesome for me. They skipped me in third grade because I was an advanced student, so they figured because I read so well, I had it all figured out, and I didn't know how to put um, the sections together. So <laughs> I'm going to give you the wrong way. This is, how, this is A C R O P O R Y. My braid says Acropora. <laughs> And it's a cropper, a cropper up. Here, I'll let you listen to the computer version. I found this really cool website. How'd you say it? A cropper. A cropper. He says it with a nice British accent. A cropper. A cropper. So a cropper it is. And um, I thought it's kind of a cool name. It's you know, it's different. It's not usual. And now all of us will know that a cropper is a type of coral. So for this design, oh, I should say that I really like the back of the design. This one was obviously done in four colors, as was this one, although the black is not, doesn't pop out as much. Of course, on this side, you can't see the cropper. <laughs> and then I tried, these are the, this is such a weird feel, it's kind of, it's almost cool, it's so weird. Um, the mixed metallics that you get at Michael's Craft Store. And I just wanted to see how those would work. That's this side. And then this side. What I did with this one, see here you've got the turquoise and then this, oh, those were the pearlized. They came in their own bag, the, the shade of pink. They were, the, they were just called pearlized and they were at Michael's. Okay, so on this one, not, you know, I used that color on that band, which are the ones that would be placed like this, where the pink is. And I also did where these turquoise ones, or aqua, whatever that color, which color is it? Aqua or turquoise? Um, I used the same pink color, so it gave it this appearance. So this is what I am going to do, where did I put my colors? I'm going to do a three colored pattern again and the turquoise there, those I refer to as color A, which are going to be the um, pearl pink. I love these bands, they're so pretty. And then like B and C are the colors that go up the center here. It's the neon orange and the yellow. I'm going to be alternating black and white. Um, this one I did two colors. This one I just did two colors. Um, this is why I wanted to call it cantankerous or some pugnacious. I just tried all different patterns. I actually really like this little section here where the gold comes up. I wish I had used the gold on this instead of the pink. But I tried so many different ways on to see what bands would work. That's why I'm so in love with my oops, my Mei Ling because the design came out easy. I just picked colors. They look great together. This one was a little difficult, but hopefully I've got enough examples for you. To show you, um, you know, so that you can not have as much trouble as I did. This was my first one I did, so it's not quite as neat. Okay, anyways, back to the colors. Um, 
we do the B and C colors up the middle. You can use more colors if you want. And the D color are the um, pearlized, this pink here. The ones that angle like that. And I will be using this color for color A and color D. Alrighty. Let's move all this stuff out of the way and let's get going. I should have been a little more prepared. I forgot to put bands out on my table here. So, all right. Let's roll. Acropora. Acropora. <laughs> I need to go back and and take an English class and learn how to pronounce my words. Okay, we will start out by placing two color A bands, to be treated later as the connection, and then we will not do any. We will not be doing any more A bands until um, the end. Those will be the last bands in place. So now we're going to take whatever colors we want to go up the center. And this is the pattern. You're going to make a little funky crook like that. And then you're going to do it the other way. And you're just going to continue all the way, all the way up your loom doing this. switch back or go to a third color. Very simple. A little unusual maybe, but I resolved um, getting all looped together, which is what resulted in these little bumps here. It does take practice, but by the time I got to the end, see how they you all have like the the two little lines there and the little curve there and then this comes around it. So it's interesting to say the least. That might be all you can say about it. <laughs> so it might not be the least, right? It might be the only thing to say about it. This is interesting. But you never know. I like to be adventurous and doing this might lead to something even better. Okay, so anyhow you're going to do that all the way up and then if you go to the end of your loom, you will not be doing the full section. Like, pretend this is at the end. You're just going to do the X. Okay? So that's how you'll finish off this section. If you do put these here, I'll tell you at the end to take them off. And I will be back very shortly. Thank you. Alright, um, as far as your B and C color bands go... You will finish up like this. So even if you use more than, you know, two colors, they're still, I'm still calling them B and C because of their placement. Okay, now we will do the D and as in these designs, you definitely want to pick a color that will pop. Um, this one, it's the white. This one, it's the pearlized pink color. So on either side, it's got a nice little pop. On this one, it just becomes part of a, um, a more accentuated border. Oh my god, am I? Oh, I'm almost not on the screen. So, I was on screen? Okay, hopefully I did. As I um, said, the color D will be, you know, you definitely want it to stand out. I'm doing this again in case um, I wasn't on camera. <laughs> and the white here and the pink here show up nicely. So you are going to, not here, but the next one up. You're just going to place the bands on both sides all the way up including right here and it doesn't really matter that I put these here because there's no overlapping or anything. Okay? So you're going to go all the way up just 
doing them on both sides all the way to here. Alrighty. I have all my D bands placed and they go they look like this. Whoops. The very end. So there'll be nothing here. And I'll I'll have a little remedy for that when we go to um, looping them back. Now remember my A and D colors are the same. So if you know if you don't want your border to be the same as your D-color bands, make sure you didn't put the D-color bands under there. Um, here, you can see I used the you know the ends are the A-color, which is the aqua here, and they're the black here. Oh, I don't know what I did there. I screwed up. <laughs> I mean, I messed up. And then on this one. Since my A and D colors are the same, I've got these pink bands at the end. So now for the A color. I'm going to continue using these. Oops. And we are going to go all the way up each side. And you know, you can push them down so you have room for how you're looping. So you do that on either side. Oh, you can see I'm in my jammies. <laughs> hey, they're comfy. I don't have to go out. I usually live in my jammies. So you're going to go all the way to the end, and then to here, and from here to here, and then this will be capped. But you know, I will show you that if you're not quite sure. And again, I'm going to go off camera and do this because I'm watching a show on TV. And I can't do that while I'm putting bands on and the camera's on. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I've taken my A-color bands up each side all the way up to here. And now we will finish it off as we traditionally do by going in at an angle and then I'm going to place my loom this way just because there's more tape over there and I'm double I'm making a, a double cap extension so I'm using two bands twisting them around like that and then pulling them over like that alrighty now for the um, looping back pattern, which is different, but it's not complicated. So I'll do the first section here, then after that will be the sequence. So we're going to take each side up to its home pin, like that. I did this just last night, so it's still fairly fresh in my brain. Okay, then you take each side up like that. Now you're going to take this band here, this here, and then these two. Just take the one that's on top, bring it like that. Then take this one and bring it here. Now comes the sequence, and I will do my um, number cadence to keep track of that. That came out a little bit twisted. I have yet to learn how to make sure my bands aren't all twisted. All right. Okay, step one. Go in and take this one that angles that way and push the bands, you know, push these down so you have room for the other bands. That's step one. Step two is bringing this border band up. Step three 
is a little different because if we were to keep you know just going up, these guys would just be out there and it would all fall apart. So push this down and then very gently just bring it over like that. And that's what gives the little coral shape. Just do it gently so you you know try to twist try not to twist the bands. That is the um, one thing I had trouble with um, is making sure my bands didn't twist. So that once we did that, step four is to bring this band in. And then these two, doing the top one first, and then the other one. And that's your sequence. So I will do it again. So take this band that's on top, bring it out to the side. Bring the next border band straight up. Push these down a little bit. Go over the side. And take this very bottom band and gently bring it over the pin. And then reach down here. There's only one band. Gently bring it out. This is where I have the twisting. Sometimes these will twist when I pull that one out. So we will try to do it in a way that doesn't twist those. Okay, so we've got that. And then we finish up in the middle. Always taking the one that's on top. So it's all, it would always be from here to here and then here to here. So that's the sequence done twice. Now, it's a little easier, if, you know, you do all, all you can on one side before moving to the other. So if you want, you can keep going back and forth like that, you know, move this one out and that one out, or you can do this. Step one. Step two. Step three, and then step four. Because doing those four steps, you know, they don't interfere with anything. So then you do those four steps on this side. One, two, Three and four. And then. and then you do the two center ones. Okay, I hope that didn't confuse you. Instead of doing, you know, one, one, two, two, three, three, and then four, four, I just did all four on this side, all four on this side, and then the center. But um, for those of you advanced probably can do the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then the two middle. But I'll do a couple more um, back and forth sequences for those of you who like um, to do it that way. So this is one. Do it on the left. Do it on the right. Bring up the border band on either side. Push these down and reach down to get this one bottom band right here. And you want to kind of try to make sure these kind of stay in alignment and not get all twisted. I don't know what you can do about it to prevent it. To, you know, make sure it doesn't happen. You just try not to be sloppy, I guess. Yeah, that, this one actually looks nicer than that one. Okay, so now that we have that, that was step three. And then step four. 
I think the more gently you take this fourth band, fourth step band out, the less it's going to um, twist those. Okay, and bring this one up, and this one up. Okay, I'll do it again. Step one is to bring these diagonal diagonal bands out, reach in there, right there on top. Bring one quarter band up on each side. Okay, that's step two. Step three is bringing this bottom band up and over the pin. Step four is bringing this diagonal inward. Very carefully. Hey, practice does make perfect. I shouldn't speak as I probably have a twisted band. Look at that one twisted just a little bit. How dare you defy me. Okay, and then the two centers. Okay, hopefully that's enough footage. I'm going to do one more of uh, the sequence of like doing it four on one side and four the other for you who feel more comfortable doing it that way. So I'll do step one. Step two. Step three. Step four. And then step one. Step two. Step three. Step four. And then the two centers. Okay. Now you will continue to do that all the way up to this pin here, and then just wait for me. <laughs> wait for me. I think that's so funny when I say that. <laughs> In the next segment, um, I will show you how to finish up these last pins because they will be a little different than the sequence that we've been doing all the way up. So that's how it's look. Whoops, that's how it's looking. And you will do it. This will be the last pin. These two pins will be the last ones you do in that sequence. See ya on the other side of the segment. Hey there. Um, I'm still working on this, but I'm popping in to give you a little heads up and something I noticed um, that I was having trouble with is keeping these from being messy is when you pull this one up, instead of going over like that, you know, instead of just like pulling it like that, if you come up and kind of pull it this way, it seems to keep it, keep these two bands in better alignment. Okay, let me, I'll show you on the other side. Let me do this first. Where are you? Hold on, I have to pull this up like this. Yes, Violet? Olivia? You were doing a book report could be so sticky. <laughs> Alright, I'm on camera, so I'll check it. Check. I'm going to be off in a second. I just have to show something. Okay, so I did that. So when you do this band, instead of just, you know, pulling it over, maybe kind of bring it a little forward and gently ease it over. And that keeps all these much neater. Alrighty. So I'm a little over halfway done, so I'll be back when I'm finished. Now we're ready for the final uh, sequence, which will be a little different, but it holds everything together, so it works. 
we will take this first band up like this, but this time the second step is to bring this band from under over and then take this band up to here. And we will do it on the other side. first, then grab this bottom band, gently bring it over, bring this band up, do your last middle sequence, and now it's time to secure it and take it off and see what we have, it's always the most exciting part. Oh my gosh, dizzy spell. I've been having these freaky dizzy spells. Even when I'm laying down, if I turn my head a certain way, I just serious dizziness. Oh, why, why, why? Is there always something weird going on? All right, so now um, these make it really easy to finish it off. No transferring bands to another pin. So I'm going to hold that. Grab that, and I'm going to stick my finger through the center here, and grab my clip, and pop it on. There you go. All right. There you have it. I love, I love the, um, once you get them all looped, I love the designs. They have like, such pretty patterns. So now we will take it off. Yes, indeed, the boring part. But there's such anticipation. I think this one's going to be my best one. Um, this one definitely took practice to become, um, I guess, good at, you know, making the um, bands not all twisted as, as I did the looping. And who doesn't like black, white, and pink? I remember when my parents were building uh, their own home in Connecticut. Um, in 1964, we rented a neighbor's house. And it was a, a ranch. And it was just a small three-bedroom. But the kitchen was done black, white, and pink. I was only four years old, but I totally remember it because like all the appliances, the, the oven and uh, the, everything, the refrigerator, it was pretty much this shade of pink and then the black and white tiled floors. And so yeah, very, very interesting. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I am so pleased with this one. Definitely, and I think I made it a little too, it's a little too big for, for my wrist. But it's weird because some of the other ones, I think I did them, I couldn't have done them full length. Could I have done them? I probably didn't do them full length. Anyhow, this is way too long for me. But there's this side. Very neatly done. Um, all the all the bands going this way, like, let me show you. I'll show you my reality. See on this one, um, like that blue band is kind of messy, that one's messy, that one's messy. I don't even know if you take a photograph of this one. It's not very neat. But on this one, they're all perfect. And then here's the other side. So, I don't know. I think it's totally reversible. This side is interesting. This side is interesting. So there you have it. I love the colors of this one. Though. I don't know if I should remake it so that I can shoot it, you know, take a picture of it nicely. Here's this one. Here's this one. And then I love this little segment where the gold's popping up. I think the gold looks really cool in these these funky metallic mixed metallic bands from Michaels. So, how do you pronounce this again? A a cropper, a cro a, a cropper. 
I was in a game show once called Million Dollar Chance of a Lifetime and had a chance to win a million dollars but I could not pronounce Abyssinian. I pronounced it every other way except the right way so we lost our round. One fifteen fourteen one thousand four hundred ninety five dollars but my pronunciation of words has always been a thorn in my side. Anyhow, enough rambling. Thank you so much for watching this. Um, like it. Hit the little like button if you like this design. Feel free to subscribe to Deb's Thing. And of course, check me out on Instagram at Deb's Thing. And post your renditions on hashtag Acropora bracelet, all one word, a cropper of bracelet, and then of course at Deb's thing, so that I get it on my little list. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Bye. That was Olivia.